Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this episode we are going to recreate this TikTok or real live messages or incoming messages. It's this list of messages that whenever a new message is going to arrive it's going to come from bottom to top and it's going to push the rest of the, the messages. We are going to use Flatlist and React Native Reanimated for that. We are going to create a reusable component that has the same API as a Flatlist but has this nice animation for incoming messages. So without further ado, let's jump straight into VS Code and start building this animation, shall we? Alrighty guys, so we are in VS Code here, I've created a project using Expo and I have installed React Native Reanimated. The way how I envision this uh, animation and this component is to reuse or to use the flat list underneath and expose the same API as the flat list. So basically whenever you are going to display this list, you basically are going to use it as a flat list but inside it i'm gonna wrap the render item with an animated um, component and do some animations it's either a layout animation or uh, another uh, animation based on the index of of the message and the most important one is that whenever a new message is going to come, I'm not going to push it to the existing messages, but later I'm gonna prepend it. So in this way, we are going to change the index all the time. So new messages, uh, new message is going to have index zero, and then the rest is going to be recalculated again and again. So let's start by creating the component itself, right? So I will say a new file messages, tick tock messages. Go back to the app and render this. Okay, and I've said that I'm gonna extend the uh, flat list. So we are going to get some props, and these props are going to be a TikTok messages props. But I would like to uh, infer the type of the data. So in this way, I'm gonna get the the T, and I'm passing to the uh, TikTok messages props. And uh, type TikTok messages props is going to get the the t and is going to uh, make a flat list props props by the t and also specify the render item as list item list render item by the t okay great so in this way we get the props as another flat list right and in, in, instead of rendering the view, I'm gonna render a flat list and I'm gonna pass the props. And instead of getting all the props all the way, I'm gonna have a render item and then the rest of the props. And the reason is because I would like to wrap this render item with my own animated component and animate it, right? Based on index, let's say. So I'll have uh, a render item that's going to get the props and is going to return an animated item and inside I'm gonna call this render item by the props and I know that this animated item is going to also need the index of the current uh, of the current uh, of the current render item so hit save import of course flat list from uh, uh, React Native reanimated and change the, the rest to be uh, change the props to be the rest because I've renamed the props. Okay, and now uh, uh, animated item doesn't exist, so let's create this uh, animated item. Uh, so function animated item is going to get the index and the children. It's again index, it's a number, and the children it's a React node, and I'm gonna return an. Uh, view and inside the view I'm gonna place the children and if we go back now to the app first I would like to show you that we actually have the flat list properties that we can pass so we can pass some data we can pass some render item we can pass basically anything that we would like to have right and I have prepared some mock data for this uh, component um, we basically have a method that's going to generate some messages and each individual message is going to have a key, a content description and a user with a name and an avatar for each individual user. And I'm also uh, uh, sending down the chat item as the return type of this generate new message. 
and I also have some uh, max messages that I would like to display on, on the screen and we are going to later use it. But for now, let's create the data. We can have here some uh, messages, set messages. We are going to use state for that, uh, get also the chat item and uh, I will say, you know, first let's create uh, 10 messages, why not? And also pass this data to the uh, to the TikTok messages. And now uh, this TikTok messages is also expecting to have a render item. And uh, for the render item, I have prepared already some uh, data. For each individual item, I'm gonna render uh, like the, the avatar and the username and, and then the content of, of the message, pretty much, right? So we have this beautiful list here. We can also render more, more than 20 different items. So you, 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 have, you have like uh, some styling for styling purposes. You, you can style it as you'd like, it doesn't actually matter. What is going to matter though, is the way how we are going to animate those. So the animation is going to happen inside this TikTok messages or this uh, reusable flat list component, right? Inside this animated index. And how are we going to do? Well, we are going to, uh, because we have access to the index and we prepend the item in the future, we are going to prepend it Basically, the new message is going to have index zero and the rest is going to be incremented by one, right? So we can use uh, derived value and apply an animation to the uh, uh, from the old index to the new index. So we can create a new index here, new index. It's a use derived value. And we are going to return a with spring and we are going to say, go to the new index. Uh, that you have received as a property with a damping of 80 and a stiffness stiffness of oops uh, let me import first uh, the spring stiffness 200 so we have some uh, types uh, in place so this new index whenever you are passing to this animated item a uh, different index we are going to animate from the old index to the new one using this spring uh, function. And uh, we can also apply some styles. We can create some styles uh, based on this. So styles, it's a use animated style that's coming again from React Native reanimated. And we are going to return an opacity. And here we are going to interpolate, interpolate the, uh, the new index uh, value. So new index value with a range between zero and one. So we are just interested in defining a small range and uh, leave all the math and all the calculations and approximations in the hands of interpolate. So we are going to say, you know, let's interpolate this new index. If it's zero, uh, we are going to say, you know, the opacity is going to be one, but if you are the next, the next item, basically uh, you are this in this position, we are going to decrease the opacity by a particular number. And this particular number is based on how many uh, messages we would like to display. So it's going to be one minus one divided by max messages that we have defined a six, right? So in this way, we can say, let me import first the interpolate. We are going to say, you know, uh, it's a decrease by uh, one divided by how many messages we would like to do. And in this way, uh, we are going to start from one and uh, the, the other one is going to be how much is uh, one divided by six. It's uh, one minus 0 0.16 and then uh, one minus 0 0.32 and so on and so forth, right? So Interpolate is going to do all the math for us. And let's apply the styles. The most important part is we need to make this an animated view. So animated view from uh, uh, React Native reanimated and uh, apply the styles. So style is going to be styles. Hit save. Now you'll see that the first message is going to have opacity one, opacity 0 0.84 and so on so forth. right? So it's decreasing. Uh, up to the point where if the index is greater than the max messages uh, number is going to be opacity zero, right? And I've said that we would like to start from the bottom. So uh, I will say here inverted, it's actually true. So we are going to start from bottom to top. 
so in this way whenever we are going to prepend a new item it's going to come from bottom to top and we are going to increase all the other indexes and let's actually do that uh, method now as a simulation of adding new items as they are coming from let's say a WebSocket. so if we go back to the uh, app itself i have prepared some uh, speeds uh, of the chat so the chat speed can be slow medium fast or insane so uh, each individual each individual chat speed has a range between uh, when we can possibly get uh, uh, a new message in milliseconds so for insane we are going to get the message between 50 and 100 milliseconds and with this chat speed we first need to create a timeout and uh, also set the state with the initial chat speed and as a silly sibling of, of these TikTok messages uh, let's render a segmented view uh, that's going to render all the uh, all the possible uh, values so it's either slow medium and fast right so great and whenever we are going to change the speed we are going to set the speed with the speed that the user has selected and we are going to listen to that change and call generate new message and append that based on a timeout so first let's create a method uh, generate uh, generate data generate data is going to first clear the timeout right um, and then it's going to get the selected speed uh, get a, a random timer and uh, uh, schedule the set timeout with with the timer and now we can do a, a, a use effect whenever the speed has changed and we are going to say generate data right it's safe and now you'll see that uh, if we are going to change the the speed you'll see that we have uh, we are injecting basically new new messages new messages new messages and you can see that the the animation is taking place here so whenever we are changing 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 and now uh, we can also do some uh, removal here so we are going to start uh, clean uh, and uh, uh, push push items to this uh, to this list because we have this uh, uh, simulation of uh, adding new items and uh, there is uh, there are some missing parts that we need to treat one is the entering and exiting animation uh, for each individual item and for that we are going to use the animated flat list that uh, reanimated provides and so if we are going to go back to this tiktok messages instead of a flat list we can use an animated flat list right and this animated flat list actually provides an item layout animation and this item layout animation is going to be linear transition and we are going to have a springify effect to it and also we are going to have a dumping and a stiffness of 200 so now you see whenever we are adding a new item we have this animation in place so if it's going to be really fast you see boop, 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 boop. so all the items are going to be animated whenever the layout is going to change inside this flat list but we have a problem right because the entering animation is not going to take place so for that we actually need to go to this uh, animated item component that we've just created and wrap the entire view with another animated view but we can also add an entering and the entering is going to be fade in from down with the springify we are going to also have a damping of 80 and the stiffness of 200 so now they also appear boop, boop, boop. so you see they are not just going to like pretty much uh, be rendered straight away but we are going to also apply a different transition for the appearance or for the rendering which is uh, fantastic there is one one thing that i would like to uh, uh, modify to this fade in down and that's the uh, initial values so the initial values we can uh, specify with initial values we can say the opacity is going to be zero but the translate y is going to be transform translate y is going to be 100 so in this way we are going to change the way how uh, this uh, animation is going to be uh, uh, 
what's going to be the initial values from which uh, the fade in down is going to start from i think this uh, this already looks quite uh, quite great all righty guys that was it uh, i hope that uh, you've learned something new um, that you can apply in your in your project this animation is already available on animatereagnative.com for you to use uh, if you're lazy as me and you just want to copy paste the code uh, feel free to uh, to do it uh, from animatereagnative.com in, in, in closing, I would like to say uh, sorry, but uh, I just lost my voice. I was uh, pretty sick last week and still I'm trying to recover uh, from this. Uh, and uh, maybe you can hear it from my voice that uh, I'm, I'm still struggling with it. Yeah, otherwise, uh, if you like this video, uh, hit, the, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, hit also the ring bell uh, to be notified whenever I'm posting something new or go live. Otherwise, see you in the next one.